Welcome to Scale Car Models. Today I just want to show you guys one of my many work in progress cars here. This is a 1934 Ford delivery truck by Lindbergh. And I am building this completely different from the box. And this kit's kind of gone through a few transformations. When I first got it, I had a definite idea on what I wanted to build. And then I ended up buying another kit, which was the 3-in-1 version of this, which is pretty much the exact same. So I decided to change what I was going to do with it. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the other kit. So uh, let me just show you guys what I got here. Okay, so it's hard to believe, but this is the whole kit right here. Um, I decided that I'm building this as a 1934 Ford Semi. And it's not going to be completely correct because the, all the photos that I've seen actually have uh, more of a heavy duty chassis and they have the dual wheels in the back. But just for the sake of the argument of doing something different, I'm going to turn this into a little mini semi. And I'm not sure if I'm going to do a typical fifth wheel or if I'm going to do like a ball style hitch. I'm not sure. I kind of was thinking of maybe scratch building a trailer that would kind of fit to it because I know a normal like uh, 48 or 53 foot uh, trailer that you would buy definitely would not fit to this truck. So um, later on in the future I might end up scratch building a trailer for this. So uh, we'll see how this goes. But this is basically what I got so far. Um, this is just the chrome and the clear pieces and actually some of this I think the bumper and the shifters and the antenna those I am going to strip down and paint those something other than chrome and the rest of it you know will be chrome uh, other than that for the color I'm actually painting it well no this isn't it here where's it at right here I'm actually brush painting it gunmetal it's a flat color so it kind of looks like uh, you know someone went in and repainted the truck themselves kind of give it that uh, homemade look and the interior color I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do on that yet uh, I've got it kind of mocked up here just a little bit so you get our hood I painted the other side of it and I'm brush painting it so it's coming out decent but like I said it's supposed to kind of look you know homemade and everything I've got all this glued together here well not all of it but I've got the firewall and then this windshield piece here glued in and then the rest of it's just mocked up and what I'm gonna do is I kinda wanted to give it a a little lift so what I'm gonna do is I cut out little tiny pieces here this is for the front and these are basically little spacers that are going to go right here on each edge of this notch and they'll give it like a scale say you know three quarters to one inch lift in the front and the back I'm going to do the same thing but in the back what I'm going to do is well I guess I can probably do the same thing in the back I need to do a little more trim in there and basically the chassis, the body, the fenders most of this truck is going to be that gunmetal color because most trucks have a, a kind of a mono, monotone color scheme to them. And I'm not sure actually if I'm even going to go with the front bumper. I might end up cutting these off. Or I might modify them, shorten up so they don't stick out so far. Or I might even create my own bumper. I'm not sure on that. Like I said, this is a, a work in progress and haven't fully decided on everything what I'm doing. The engine is going to be the flathead, of course. And I've just got that mocked in. I need to glue the heads on. Do a little more sanding on some of the mold lines. This was supposed to be just a quick kit, but I can never just throw anything together. Here's the exhaust. I'm thinking about maybe custom uh, doing an exhaust, maybe doing a stack, uh, single stack, using the stock pipe up to the cab and then having a stack come out. I thought that'd be kind of cool. Uh, the tires, axles, everything that's just going to be, I'll have to weather these slightly. Uh, these are some of the front suspension pieces I originally painted these a dark green but I'm gonna repaint them probably silver or chassis color got a battery here some of these are just uh, on toothpicks here they're ready to be painted so like I said I'm not quite sure on the interior color more than likely it'll just be black or gunmetal other than that um, the wheels I'm not sure what color I'm gonna do them I was thinking of doing them um, either silver or maybe black you have your uh, brake drums here 
and also on the engine I will be painting the engine this uh, Italian olive green it's a flat color very thin though I'll have to put a couple coats on it so I'm gonna do that on the engine probably the transmission I'll have to look at a few more pictures I might do the transmission in a, a metal color or black I'm not sure um, and then I was almost debating on whether I was just going to use the two colors, uh, use this as the accent and do like the engine transmission and then like the wheels in this color. I'm not sure. I guess we'll see how the engine turns out, see uh, if I like it or not. So that's the, uh, the work in progress here on one of these kits, the 1934 Ford semi truck. So next video I'll probably have this together. Just kind of wanted to make a in progress video for you guys. So. I'll let you all go now. You guys all have a great day. Thanks a lot for watching. Let me know what you think. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave me a comment. Rate the video. And I will talk to you guys soon.